Oh, hey there. Isn't this bag gorgeous? This is the one of the limited edition bags from one of Lisa Eldridge's last lip launches. Um, not this past one this fall, but I think the previous falls. Um, I think this is beautiful. It's a collaboration she did with an artist, and I just love the textures, the colors. It's very Lisa. Today I want to talk about my Lisa Eldridge lip collection. So focusing on the pencils, the velvets, which of which I only have two, and I'll get into that in a little bit, um, and the lucents. I have four of those, and of course her iconic glosses. So if that interests you, stay tuned. First I'll start with her iconic gloss embrace lip glosses. These are like a hybrid between a gloss and an oil. The three I have right here are very similarly pigmented. I hadn't gotten one of her more sheer glosses. Um, these are pretty similar, I would say medium pigment. And then this one is Myth. This one is heavily pigmented and I haven't quite figured out a way to wear this without it traveling outside of my lips. Uh, is a beautiful color though. But I thought I would go ahead and start start here, I guess with the, one of the lighter shades. This is Affair. Um, and it has a beautiful packaging. I mean, it, it's luxury. It, it feels nice to use. And the little doe foot just pops right out. And it's this beautiful caramelly brown. I saw this on Dua Lipa. And of course, I do not have her coloring whatsoever, but I just thought it looked divine. And it does work for me. That's the testament to Lisa's ability is that this shade looks great on me. It looks stunning on Dua. Um, you get that she has these very, she has this beautiful eye for undertones in makeup and how to make products flattering for a diverse array of people. And I love that about this Affair Gloss. It's this brown nude that just looks stunning on me, cool toned, fair, middle, uh, in my mid thirties and looks stunning on Dua. So, um, I think that that's what makes Lisa so special. The next one I believe is Muse. Yes. Um, and the packaging is a little different on some of these, I think, cause this one's older and these are newer. These have Lisa Eldridge, um, embossed on the side. The older one I have does not. Um, but this is Muse. You'll see that next to Affair. So definitely this is more of the rosewood tone. And I love that satisfying click when they close as well. This one's blush. This one is older um, and is from the first time that she launched glosses. So I don't have a ton of product left in here, but I do want to go ahead and try to swatch what I've got. And it's that beautiful pinky berry color. Um, I think blush is one of her iconic shades. I don't see this type of color a lot in other ranges. I think this is an, an iconic shade for her. And then I would actually love if in her blush formula, she made blush a blush. You can of course use her lipsticks as blush, but it would also be nice to have it in the, t in the, the liquid form. Last one is Myth, and one day I will figure out how I can pull this off. <laughs> right now I can't, but it is a beautiful color. Um, it just always seems to travel outside my lip line, so I might pair it with one of her liners to be able to get the full experience of it without it traveling. But you can see, definitely see, there it's more pigmented than the others, and it's just a deeper, richer color. I think is is stunning. It's a beautiful color, and I want to get the pencil, I think, in the shade. Um, it does have that whitening effect on the teeth because it's got that blue tone to it. But these are all just such beautiful glosses. Um, if you like pigment in your gloss, I would get these. I believe the Go Lightly gloss is her sheer one. It's also the only one that has a pearl shimmer to it. These are just, these of course are glosses. They have, they have sheen to them, but they don't have additional shimmer. So if you like a pigment in your gloss, these are beautiful and they're very hydrating and, uh, Glosses don't last long, but these do last long for a gloss. It's going to be a little hard because her lipstick tubes have magnetic closures to film them all together. They keep repelling each other. Um, these are her luxuriously lucent lipsticks. I adore these. These are hydrating. They're buildable, so you can put a sheer wash of color on the lips or just two to three more layers, and you've got a beautiful pop of color. They don't travel or bleed outside my lip line, which has been my complaint about other sheer formulas or hydrating formulas from other brands. 
they're beautiful. And the thing that makes Lisa's products so unique is the colors. Her, I don't have, Rose Official might be the easiest one to do because it's that cool toned pink, but colors like Go Lightly, Kitten Mischief, and Painterly are very, very unique and are difficult to find. And that's what sets Lisa apart. And I think it's what sets a lot of Love Free brands apart is the colors that they create. So this first one here, this is Kitten Mischief. How could you not love a name like that? This is her, she described this as, it's not a pink, it's not a brown, you know, it's just a, it's not a peach. It's just kind of a, the perfect blend of all. So I'm gonna have swatches on my hand. I am fair, a cool tone fair or light um, to get an idea of my undertone, but it's a beautiful color on the lips. This is also, looks beautiful on the cheeks as a blush and on the eyelids. I've worn it on the eyelids, which is a trick I learned from Lisa. Um, I believe, what's that video called? The Fast and Fabulous 3, I think is a, that one, it's one of her videos. Um, and that video, she put lipstick on her eyelids and I was brand new to makeup. I'm like, oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> the second one is Rose Official. This is this cool toned pink, um, blue toned pink that is just perfect on me because I have a lot of blue in my lips. So this is just beautiful. And there it is next to Kitten Mischief. You can definitely see the difference. And it makes Kitten Mischief look peachier next to it. Please excuse my dog. Next, I have Painterly. This, to me, is her. This is an iconic shade. I am shocked that shades like Dance Card and Love of My Life sell out. And not this. This is so unique. This is not a brown. It's not a red. It's not a pink. It's just this beautiful, ready, rusty brown color that I adore. And one swipe on the lips looks like a bitten lip or like you've just eaten raspberries or blackberries. But if you build it up, it gives you this beautiful, ready brown color. And I can't find a dupe. I can find a dupe for the formula. I would say this formula is a lot like Revlon's super lustrous lipsticks in terms of formula, but in terms of colors, I can't find this anywhere. Um, it's, it's so unique and I will keep buying this lipstick. It is my favorite lipstick. I said on Instagram that if I were to get married again, this would be the lipstick I would wear. You know, if my husband and I were to get married, like do a vow renewal or something, this is the lipstick that I would wear for that. Um, it's just, it's so unique and beautiful and flattering. And it's a chameleon shade. It looks beautiful with all kinds of different lip liners from a red to a deep, deep pink, like the blush liner to a muse, like her rosewood. It, it's a shapeshifter color. It can look so many different kinds of ways and I love that about it. And then I struggled with whether or not to swatch this or show this. Go Lightly is her nod to the Audrey Hepburn lipstick that she has um, in her collection in the Cartier custom holder. That video is beautiful. It's beautiful to watch that journey of her obtaining that piece of makeup history. Um, but this product isn't available. She's mentioned maybe potentially bringing it back, but she did say it was initially released as limited edition. This is a tricky lipstick. And I remember reading from a cosmetic chemist online somewhere when they were discussing this, lipsticks like this, um, a, like this type of color, tend to have a lot of white in them, which can make them a little difficult on the lips. And I definitely find that with this. My lips have to be really well hydrated and exfoliated if I wanna wear Go Lightly. It's a beautiful color, but it can settle in lines and emphasize dryness on the lips if your lips aren't perfectly prepped, but it is gorgeous. And she has another color in her line now called Dance Card. That one's sold out right now too, but um, it should come back, I believe. That is a deeper version of this. Um, and it's really pretty. The, so those are the Lucents. And this is my favorite formula of hers. I, I love these. Ah, the iconic velvet lipsticks. Same thing, they're repelling each other. I can't get them close to each other. Um, these are beautiful mattes. They're comfortable mattes. I only have two because I've realized with time, my makeup taste definitely leaned toward hydrating. My 
lips are very, very dry. I do uh, Charlotte Palomino's lip basting technique like two to three times a day to keep them hydrated and plump. Um, so I prep my lips and wear these and they look beautiful, but my preference is to have a formula that, that is hydrating for my skin. So I have two, I have Velvet Muse and I have Velvet Blush. Just make sure, yeah, this is Velvet Blush. Now Velvet Blush was injured by a well-meaning member of my family. Velvet Blush was injured by a well-meaning family member. So unfortunately, the bullet is misshapen and has lost some of its velvet texture. This is difficult to show up on the best quality cameras, the velvet texture. So I'm not sure how this is going to look, if you're even going to be able to see it. Um, some of the best videos that you can look at, though, to see it might be Lisa's launch videos for these products or Matilda on video, um, her, her reviews of these. But Velvet Blush, beautiful color, beautiful deep color. I mean, that's just one swipe. It's so pigmented. You don't need a lot. It's a beautiful lip stain. You can also wear this on the cheeks as a blush. I've done that a lot, especially with this shade. I think this is a perfect... It's appropriately named because this is a perfect blush shade for me and I think a lot of people. Um, but because they're so pigmented and thick, you know, by the end of the day, they do dry my lips out. So I tend to not wear these all the time. These are special occasion lipsticks for me. This is Velvet Muse. Um, and this one's brand new. <laughs> it was a replacement of Muse from when the uh, Muse and Blush got injured on the same day. So this is a replacement Muse I haven't really used. So I'm going to pull this down and then swatch that. Again, that beautiful rosewood color. It has more brown in it and blush. Seeing them side by side, I can definitely see blush being more cool toned and this being a little warmer, but both are flattering on me. Um, and I think flattering on a, on a wide array, array of people. Yeah, there they go. <laughs> they like each other. They're not repelling. <laughs> I've only been getting into makeup for the past three years, and it's only been within the past year that I've really been able to expand my collection. And I say that to introduce the fact that I don't have a ton to compare these to. Uh, I have a lot of drugstore makeup uh, lip liners um, from NYX, Milani. I do have one bodyography pencil that's very nice. That's not drugstore. Um, so please know my review is coming from my limited experience, but I do think that these are really beautiful and unique. They are hydrating and long wearing. I don't know how she did that. These, this is the blush liner and it's not going to focus. I'm using my front facing camera on my Google Pixel 4a. If I consistently make more videos, I will invest in a better camera, but I will swatch it. <laughs> Please hold. I have a Chihuahua and a Chow, and they are the world's most reactive dogs to the sound of a leaf rustling on a sidewalk, so my apologies. This is the blush liner. Now, Lisa says these are a little deeper than their lipstick counterparts. She has ones for every shade of her velvet lipstick. She has one of these for every shade of, of her velvet. This is the blush one. They are a little deeper, so they add definition. I love to pair. This pairs beautifully with Painterly, with the blush lipstick, of course, with Rose Official. It gives a beautiful, like, contrasted, contoured lip with Rose Official because Rose Official is lighter. Um, these are beautiful together. They're beautiful together. They're a perfect complement. This little nubbin is Muse. I got this from the first liner launch when she was doing the kits. Um, packaging on this is a little bit different, but it's still, it's beautiful. It, this one's been through uh, hell because I was using a very, very cheap drugstore liner uh, sharpener that wasn't intended to sharpen these kinds of gel textures. So I've gotten a new liner. Uh, I got a new sharpener now that, that works better, but you can see it next to blush. And this is definitely deeper than the Muse lipstick. This works beautifully with Painterly, um, and it works on its own with a gloss on top. 
And then this is the Midnight Pencil. I couldn't wait for a Midnight Pencil. Because I knew that meant lipsticks weren't working for me but to wear all day, but the liners were, I knew how much I loved the Muse one, just to wear on its own with a little bit of balm or gloss on top. I couldn't wait for Midnight because I love really deep lipsticks like this, um, lip looks. And so I wear this alone as a stain sometimes all over the lips or I will pair it with a little bit of the Myth Gloss to kind of give it a pop. And these, gl I mean, these glide on like butter, but then they dry down and are immovable. They wear really well if you're eating. Um, they will fade to a nice natural looking, not, I guess not natural looking, especially for like this, but they will fade to a nice flattering stain rather than peeling off. Provided you've only applied one layer, let it dry completely. If you try to go back in and do a second layer on top of this after it's dried, that that will look weird. But um, doing one layer of this and then topping with your balm, your lipstick, a gloss, it looks stunning. It wears well and wears off evenly over the course of the day. And it does wear very beautifully. It doesn't just disappear. And that's that. That's the Lisa Eldridge video for today. Right now I'm wearing the blush liner with Painterly on top and I'm wearing the blush lipstick as blush on my cheeks over top the Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted SPF. They're, these are just beautiful lip products. They make me feel luxurious, of course. That is, it is an experience to buy a luxury makeup product. Um, and allegedly there is some kind of launch on November 5th according to things that friends of Lisa's have said. Uh, I imagine it may have something to do with the liquid eyeshadows that were teased and perhaps the foundation as well. So keep your eyes peeled. Lisa has a newsletter you can sign up for. I haven't heard anything yet. So at the time I film this, so we'll see. Um, and thank you for watching. Consider subscribing and uh, I'll see you in the next one.